So you might be rocking an older iPhone, maybe something like an iPhone XR that I have here, or maybe even an iPhone 6S, or maybe even an iPhone 6. I want to go ahead and break down some of my favorite ways to go ahead and speed up an aging iPhone, and hopefully by the end of this video, you have a pretty much a faster phone when it comes down to it. Now, although this is the first thing I will tell you, although this isn't you know applicable for every single iPhone out there, limiting the amount of random things that are on your device can greatly impact the speed of which your iPhone is running. So first of all, if you have tons of widgets on your display, especially tons of complicated widgets, things like, you know, maybe the news panel or maybe other things like that, your best bet to, you know, kind of go forward is to pretty much reduce the amount of widgets that you have on your home screens. So go through and just pretty much delete any widget that you're not using. I'll keep this one up here, but pretty much you want to delete all the widgets that you have on your specific panel. On top of that, if you installed iOS 16, which I do not have here, but on my iPhone 13, we have the ability of pretty much adding a bunch of different lock screens. Another thing I would recommend doing is removing all the lock screen that you were not using. On top of that, removing the widgets as well. Now making a lock screen is very easy. You can just go and make one just like so, click done and it's there. But that is pretty much a double-edged sword because you can customize your phone a little bit more but you'll have a ton of widgets in the background and I would recommend reducing the amount of widget applications and little widgets that you have here when you click customize but also I'd recommend deleting as many lock screens as you have here that is applicable for iOS 16 only now another thing I'd recommend doing is actually keeping your iPhone as pretty much up to date as possible now, although this isn't necessarily the best thing to do when a new update comes out, I would recommend doing some research, seeing what people are saying, but if the update looks safe, I would always recommend keeping your iPhone up to date. Not only does it keep it more secure, it can impact the speed for better or for worse, to be honest, but installing the latest update is probably something I would recommend doing as well. But while we're in our settings panel, another massive thing I would recommend doing is clearing out as much storage as possible on your device. If you're almost running out of storage, I always have a feeling, maybe it's placebo, but that can also also impact your you know specific speed of your phone as well so click on general you want to go and click on iPhone storage and you pretty much just want to go ahead and basically delete anything you're not using so as you can see if you have a bunch of storage left over then that's perfectly fine you don't have to do this but if you're constantly almost running out of storage I'd recommend deleting some applications reducing the amount of things you're using in the background and that could also end up speeding up your iPhone as well on top of that, another big little battery sucker and also performance sucker within your device are two different things, background app refreshes and notifications. The first thing I'd recommend doing is going to your notifications panel here and reducing the amount of applications that are sending you push notifications. Now, you may want to keep it on for a lot of these apps, you know, things like mail, maybe FaceTime, messages, things like that. But if you don't want to get notified of things within the app store, then I would recommend reducing the amount of notifications that are being pushed to your device. It makes absolutely no sense to keep these notifications on, especially if you don't care about it. Game Center, just go and go through here and reduce the amount of notifications you have here. That can help kind of improve the speed of your iPhone overall as well. On top of that, I'd recommend going back here. You want to go into your general settings here and you want to find background app refresh. Go and click there and all these applications, the same ones you turn the notifications off, you can go ahead and turn off background app refresh as well. Now what this does, it'll pretty much go ahead and turn off applications, basically sending you different things and being able to refresh in the background. So if you want to be notified of these applications, leave them on. But I don't care if music, you know, doesn't send me a notification. I don't care if it refreshes in the background. I don't care if news does the same thing or even notes, it doesn't really matter. Shortcuts doesn't matter. Snapchat, I do want to be notified. TikTok, Twitter, I want to be notified of those things as well. So you might want to go ahead and keep those specific applications on as well. And that is another thing you can do to go ahead and speed up your device as well. Now, on top of that, another thing I'd recommend doing is checking the battery health of your iPhone. This can greatly impact your performance as well. So what we can do is make our way back into our iPhone settings. We want to scroll down until we see battery, which is right here. And you want to go and click on battery health. Now, if you have battery health, as you can see, I'm at 92%. It's not really that bad, but if you're below 80% or maybe even below 90% in some cases, you may want to go ahead and get your battery replaced from Apple. I think it costs like $70 or $80, but that can also impact your battery life. But that can also not only impact your battery life, but it can also reduce your performance if it's below a certain amount of threshold as well. So if you're rocking an iPhone that has really bad battery health, I would probably recommend going through and actually replacing your iPhone battery well, battery for another one that's of higher quality. Now, if you're rocking a super old phone, like I mentioned, it's always going to feel a little bit slower than the latest ones, but those are pretty much the main things you can do, you know, for every iPhone. I will say though, one of the best ways to pretty much make your iPhone feel brand new is to back up your iPhone, back up all of your data within it, and then factory 
and then factory data reset it, basically meaning deleting everything from your phone and then reinstalling iOS and going through there and setting it up and using your phone like that. I've personally had phones like an iPhone XR here feel so much faster as soon as I factory reset it, it's not even funny. It feels like a brand new iPhone when I do that. So if you rock an older iPhone like this, that may be something you may want to do if you have an iPhone 6s, iPhone 10, factory resetting it, first of all, backing up all your data, and then factory resetting it, maybe another thing you may want to look into as well. It's not as easy as just, you know, deleting some things and turning some things off, but I do want to mention it because it may be something you may want to do as well. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.